What's that, Spence? Yeah, I love shrimp. And so do fish. That's what scuds are. They're little micro shrimp just swimming around as like delicious little nuggets. This may be the coolest and easiest scud that you ever tie. Okay, this is going to be a micro scud. Um, scuds can be as simple or as, as irritating as you want them to be. And this is really easy. There was some debate last time about how many materials I put on a fly. This is a one material fly. Now, I don't count the hook as a material. I don't count the thread as a material. And I sure don't count this solar res, fly tie resin, thin hard as a material, okay? Why do they call it fly tie resin? Why don't they call it fly tying resin? They ran out of space. I have to put this in YouTube so that the people will set me straight. All right, put that in the comments, we need to know. All right, so this is just a curved shank hook. This is a size 18, I believe it's a 2487 or a 57, one of the two. And I'm just gonna dress that with some 70 denier thread or in this case it's uni a dot and i'm going to build up the thread a little bit here and i'll make a bump right in the middle of this fly just a a, a subtle one but it's going to be a bump and it can take a little while <laughs> Okay, so there we have it. See that? I've just kind of built in a little bit of shape to this fly. So I'm going to pull out the old Bruiser Blend Junior in medium olive. And I'm going to build a little bit of a dubbing noodle. And I'm going to make it fatter in the middle than on the sides. So you can see that can be real rough and messy if you want it to. All right, so push that up to where the fly goes in. And then I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna go around it twice because I really need to spin this up tight. And if it's just a one stranded loop with 70 denier, it will break. There we go, we're gonna make that even fatter. So, all right, take your trusty dubbing twister and I like to put my finger like this and just twist it up. Let's see if we can get that in view so you can see how cool it looks when it twists. Oh yeah, look at that. I know you can't see the whole thing, but trust me, it's freaking glorious. All right, so there we go. We've got a nice corded up rope that's still a little bit buggy. And I do like to use my rotary feature on this. Got a little bit of thread unravel on me, but it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna wrap this up the hump and then back down the other side. Catching it with my thread and just tying that off. Sorry, I'm all fingers right now. Okay, it's ready for a whip finish. Okay, just two other little things we're gonna do to this. First thing is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna pick it out and brush some fibers down, just like you do on most scuds. So on the bottom of the fly, you can kind of see some legs and on the top of the fly, you see some ribbing. Okay, so I'm gonna get my scissors and trim the top. See how I'm bracing my scissors with another finger? That's a way you can get in really tight. And my other hand is braced on the vise. Okay, so we have a pretty bald top and we have a little some little stragglers underneath. I'm going to take some thin resin and just make a stripe down the back. All 
And I'll let that soak in just a little bit, rotate my vise while it's soaking in, and then come in here and cure that. And if I have any stragglers coming up through the resin, you can come in here and trim those off again. And now I'm going to do the same thing. This works best with a rotary vise, but I'm going to take it and I'm going to put more resin on, but let it hang upside down this time. And this will kind of create a, a nice little scud shell back for this one. So you can see this, this solar as thin is just thick enough to do stuff like this. It's a pretty cool resin. So hang it upside down, hit it with the light, and now it's kind of got its shape as a scud. And all we need to do now is trim off those little legs, just kind of flush with the hook. And there you have a killer little micro scud.